Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Scott Dean from HGTV Home, HGTV Home, Home Design Studio by Bassett. You could have a you know longer title there with your. <laughs> is joining us this morning, and we're talking small tables and how they play a part in our rooms. And this would be something that I kind of would think is an afterthought. You know, something we just kind of slide in. You know, we decide we need another space to place a cup or something. Probably, but you say it's more yeah. of an integral part of the design. I like to think of it as part of what you should plan. And you know, I always you're start. Every, I'm plan. always all starting out plan. with a plan. So <laughs> when you draw your room out, even if you're sketching on the back of a napkin or you're playing around with an envelope and say, "Oh, this is how it could look," make a place for a small table because they're so functional and they're so interesting. And there's a lot of things you can do with with um, small tables. So I brought in seven small tables today to show you some different ideas for uh, ways to use small tables. Normally, we would have like a cocktail uh, um, ottoman, maybe. We've, we've gone away from like the cocktail table and we've gone to a cocktail ottoman. We just lost a place to put a drink or a, or a, a plate. Right. And so what we might want to do then is to add a small table to take that to where that place uh, has been replaced with an ottoman. Okay. So so you got to think through the plan of how maybe it's going to service the uh, the plan for where people are going to sit. We say that everywhere there's a place that you sit down, there should be a place for a, a drink or a plate or a, or a remote or something okay. like that. So well, that's that can get kind of busy if you accommodate that in all of your sitting areas. Right. So you have to think this through and make sure that you aren't over over uh, tabling not too much. And the other rule of thumb that I say is please, please, please stay away from the matchy, 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 matchy. Yeah, I agree so with that. I agree. Not too much matchy. matchy. <laughs> no, I bet you. You don't have anything that matches. No, I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> which is good, which is eclectic and it's wonderful. So what you don't want to do is go in and say, I'll take the cocktail ottoman, coffee table, and two end tables, and I'll take the matching uh, buffet and or, uh, side tables to make all that work. Right. Then Let, the pieces kind of get lost. They all right. blend together. Too. They all blend together. And it gets heavier and it just becomes uninteresting. So stay away from the, the matchy matchy. And you can mix and match uh, different sizes and different shapes because that makes it a, a room a lot more interesting. And from there, you want to look for maybe a piece that has a little more art quality. I brought a couple in today that really do give yes. you that art, uh, the art quality. And so you, you're looking for something that's special for that, that when you walk in, wow, that's an interesting piece. Mm -hmm. So instead of just maybe thinking of your art on the wall, you can think of your art in a small table. Okay, very nice. So let's let's talk about some of the different designs that you've brought with you. So what we're going to talk about is shapes first. So I brought rounds and some and some rectangles. Okay. So the rectangles um, for this one, for inter for inter instance, is a art table. It's very heavy, uh, it, but it's it's kind of one sided. So it might go up against a wall or maybe on the side of the arm, uh, where these can be nested in. Whether you have like a, a an angled seating area, you can put a little round table in. They fit nicely also on the end of a, a sofa or a chair. This piece over here is the C table. And this one is uh, particularly interesting because it's made so that it slides under the footrest. And so oh, uh, that's, that's like the, the updated uh, TV tray right <laughs> there. <laughs> 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 Do not say that word, TV tray. But yes, it's absolutely the updated TV tray, and it can be used both here. It could be sl sl slid to the end. It could it could rest right there. So what's nice about the C set table is that it's actually made for that purpose. Okay, that's nice. Then we talk about the um, materials that you can mix and match, and you have a lot of different materials. These tables, a lot of these tables are upper end five hundred dollars, and which uh, to me is like wow, that's a lot. And so I have to justify table, it to you so of why right. these are five hundred dollars. <laughs> tables because you'll be like, why am I going to spend that? They are on sale, by the way. Okay. So you've got travertine. So this is the travertine top right here. It's real stone. It's made to fit into this particular round shape. And they're and all, I've noted when I was moving them down here, they're very extremely uh, they're heavy. heavy. So right. you don't have to worry about them tipping. This one that we looked at before, this is Carrera marble. This is graystone uh, marble. So you've got different um, materials that, that drive up the price. Then you have different um, style. So you've got the the little one over here with the uh, rustic mm -hmm. uh, iron and the rustic wood on it. That's more you know cabiny maybe feel, but it's a very small little table. This is the new style from HGTV Home. Um, by Bassett. This one here has our wonderful champagne color. You know we've used yes, this. Yes, champagne. Sh we I, call no, it that's champagne. not called gold or brass it's anymore. It's not it's brass, champagne. please. It's champagne. <laughs> um, and it's used a lot. And uh, I keep going back. We did use it in the studio too. And we and we and we just used it sparingly. But it really came off as a really spark 
work, but really nice uh, mix of metals. This one here I borrowed from one of my favorite clients, uh, Becky. She loaned me this table today because that's I thought it cool. was extremely that's, that's unique. That's kind of a, a real It's just a simple, piece. single drink little table with this champagne uh, gold on the top and then marble base on the bottom. That one looks like it would almost, that's kind of got it, that C And actually I too. think it could. This one here is just a little tall for this one, but if you, if you had a little higher uh, leg on your chair, you could slide that one under. I like that one over there, the larger one. That's a great, so if you want to do some work while you're sitting in your living area too, right. it's kind of nice and you have a surface to work You can off slide of it there. around. Right, right. A lot of times if you have a sectional, you may have, a, you're getting into a seating space and you've got your cocktail on them in there. You need something to, uh, right next to you and that's a great uh, way to use that table. Okay, so talk about how we go about planning then our room for this. Is it just kind of focusing on those areas where we're going to want to set something down? And then working off of that. It could be. It could also be a place where you have, uh, for instance, these tables work great with uh, torsier lamps or floor lamps because they, they don't necessarily work great for table lamps. So if you have a lamp that you really like, maybe it's an arm reaching lamp or maybe it's a torsier lamp that sits be behind it. These are great tables to work with. Uh, those types of lamps. Okay. Um, they're also great when you are mixing and matching um, like small like small areas and you want to maybe have uh, two of them. You may want to have a plant, one used as a plant stand and one used as a service. So you can you can put two or three together, as you pointed out earlier. Yeah, I thought <laughs> this, you could arrange these and they could serve as like a coffee table, different heights, and you could have an interesting little setup here. I don't know whether <coughs> you were high on that or not, but I am. I but like I would it. have to plan it out. You know, I'm planning it out first before because if, if you're gonna it. if you're gonna go and buy a couple of these, you want to make sure you plan it prior. <laughs> um, these the like I said, these tables are upper uh, upper end tables, four hundred five hundred dollars they're on sale. We, we run them on sale for 30% off. We do sell them off the floor and we can also order a lot of different uh, small different tables. Different style. And then now some of these, are they are you able to get different inserts into them? Uh, generally not uh, different inserts, but for, however, you can get, a, there is a different metal we could do on this one and we can do a different wood top on this one here. Um, and so we do have some flexibility on a few of the lines. Okay, this is great. Um, what type of things do you usually display? Uh, you want to kind of just decorate them a well, little this bit. One, so do you put some plants, <coughs> books? Do you recommend? This one here, on the... yeah, this one here could go both directions. It could be used as a, as a small end table or it could go up against a wall. It could be used in a half bath for a, for a tissue box or a plant and a, um, a welcoming um, something. You know, this, this is a great one for the idea that it's very versatile because it's more artsy and it can go up against a wall. Some of the other ones are very small, so you're going to have to think very small when you say, I'm going to set something on them. This one's probably good for a cocktail and that's about it. Because the height of them, whether they're at the edge, should they be higher than your arm, the arm on your chair or uh, Generally we start with about one, in, uh, one inch above the arm to maybe two and a half inches above the arm. Too much more, you can't get to it, you can't okay. slide it. And two, uh, below the arm, you're going and reaching over and you might miss it actually. You want to really be almost level with the arm or pretty okay. close. A little higher is better. I never thought that we'd learn so much about <laughs> tiny tables. <laughs> I always have rules. You know, I come with rules. I know, and I know. <laughs> and a reminder, you know, make a plan, find that unique uh, table uh, and, mix you know, and match don't styles. be afraid to mix and match. HGTVDSM.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. You can stop by his studio. Uh, more, you'll be back next week with some more, uh, more great tips, tips more to planning. keep us well decorated and well organized, well planned. <laughs> Thank you everybody. Stay tuned. There's plenty more to come.